I'm on assignment. Uh, I'm working on a leotard for a dancer who has a competition coming up and they made a special request. So I just want to show you guys really quick if you are a sewer uh, or if you're starting to sew and you run into some situation where you get frustrated at the sewing machine because what you want to sew together isn't sewing together. For example, this super thin liner fabric. It's a beautiful, soft, amazing fabric. Yet, when you go to sew it, you'll run into some issues because it's not going to run through the sewing machine as beautifully as you would like it to. And I'm going to show you a trick and what you can do to work around that. What you're gonna need is the stabilizer. And that's the secret here. So I'm gonna cut two pieces. This is gonna go here. to do is because I want this to get sewn together so that it'll become one piece you could see that prepare the pieces you want to sew together as such and match the pieces take your staple like I'm gonna put it has to be on the bottom because what happens is when the needle goes through it's gonna pull the super skinny fabric into the machine and you're just it's gonna get stuck and you're gonna have this big mess so the stabilizer you want to have on the bottom on the bottom feed and then your fabrics on top this way your sewing is just gonna run beautifully in a straight line um, and then the stabilizer you could just tear off. You just tear it off at the end. I'm going to clip it. Do that to both sides. So I only have to visit the machine once. Stabilizer on the bottom. It's such a thin fabric. Also, you have to make sure you have the right needle. Um, if the needle is not for knit, it is not going to be nice on your sewing. Actually, thin knit. And ballpoint. If it doesn't have the ballpoint, it's just gonna, it can snag. So you want the ballpoint needle, has a little ball at the end of the needle, so tiny, but it makes it smooth go in and out of the stitch. The fabric is so thin, it's even hard to line up. I'm just putting little clips. You may want to pin it down with pins. But I think that'll do. And then I'll take you guys to the machine and you'll see how that's done. So now we're at the machine and I just want to really uh, reiterate how amazing these packets of bobbins are. You get them on Amazon. I don't have the link, but if you look them up, you find these they're not that expensive 
They come in all different colors, and then there's one with black and white. As you see, all the white is gone already. We use white a lot, but you use this one to match the colors. And I think I already see the one I want to use is right there, or this one. I think I'm going to get that one. And then match your thread. I just have this bag here. I may not have the exact color, but I saw one that I might want to use. It's actually going to be a dark brown. Yeah, brown and beige. They go. These are the two threads. Match your threads so that it won't, it'll look a lot nicer uh, on the seam when it pulls. You won't have like black. White is always the safeguard. Well, if you can match your colors, that would be beautiful. I'm changing the bobbin and thread. I cut a sample piece. Always try sample first so that you know that it's going to work. You don't want to go straight into your final project without testing it out on the machine to see how it goes. I have the setting on two, which is um, stretch stitch, and then I make the length. Um, I'm gonna put it at three, and let's see what happens if I like three. And let's run this. All right, so this is running very smoothly. And then I'm just gonna pull that out. I like how it looks. Let's see if that's going to work. Yes, that's going to be perfect. So cut those out. I'll show you guys really quick. Um, I sewed a straight stitch, stretch stitch, with the interfacing, not interfacing. I stitched the stretch stitch with the stabilizer on the back on the plate so that it doesn't snag. And you see that it does a straight line. Now with these stabilizers, I don't know the number of this one, the thickness, but it just rips apart both sides. In the end, you have your fabric ready to go, connected exactly how you need. Um, this is a three length and it may, I mean, it looks fabulous on this side here. I'm just wondering if it needs to be tighter or Tighter meaning a shorter stitch. It doesn't have to be longer, that's for sure, because I could see it already being like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and try it with uh, a 2.5 length, a little bit tighter. Let's see how that's gonna come out. I'll take two fabrics and the machine. better it's tighter on both sides it looks great so that's what I'm going to go with for the final you can tear both sides out and you'll see the stitch there is beautiful and it, it's even stitched beautiful on both sides here um, it looks great so there you have it, um, how to sew together these very difficult fabrics work to work with, it seems like, but when you actually start doing the work and you use this tip with the stabilizer on the bottom, you're going to have a beautiful line and your sewing will come out exactly how you need it to, without frustration or stress.
because the fabric is so thin, I have to keep lifting up the press up because it starts to bunch up a little bit. And then when I lift it up, it releases some tension and straightens it out. And this tear away you just get the one side first once you tear the one side the other side kind of melts off because we don't want that on the garment so it just separates and then the other one just peels right off You can keep these and use them again. And there you have it, a beautiful stitch. A very difficult fabric to work with. I'll continue working on this. Just wanted to stop and share that with you. So have a wonderful day, guys.